What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be showing you a new tweak called Advanced Settings 8. Now what this tweak does is basically give you some hidden settings on iOS 8. And there's so many options that I'm not going to be able to go through all of them just because, I mean, they're so granular that, uh, that it would just be an extremely long video to go through them. So I'm just going to show you some highlights. So once you install this tweak, what you want to do is go into your settings here, and then you want to make sure that it is enabled in the settings panel. So we're gonna scroll down here to advanced settings eight, make sure that it is enabled. And then all you have to do is you can see right there, just tap and hold on the settings icon to display the Apple advanced settings. So now what we're gonna do is just tap and hold and you can see that the advanced settings come right up. So you're gonna notice that we have just a ton of options right here. Now, not only are this is a lot of options, but once we go inside of one of these settings panels, there's a ton more options. So you can see right here, if we just tap on parallax effect first we have four options a home screen lock screen icon list icon badges and then we tap on another one then you're gonna see that we have a ton of values a ton of toggles and a ton of options that we can configure now some of these are kind of hard and not very intuitive if you don't know what you're doing uh, you're just gonna have to kind of mess with it to really figure out what each and every single thing does but you can see right here, there's some things that are pretty self-explanatory, like the folders. If we go into the folders, you can toggle on allow nested folders, as well as pinch to close. So you can see if we just go ahead and toggle those on and we tap done. Then if we want to create a folder, let's just use Chrome into Google. And then we'll throw another icon in there. And then we open this up. You can see that we can create nested folders just like that. So very simple how that works. We can also pinch to close if we want to do that. Let's go ahead and uh, we can pinch with three fingers. So if we just pinch like that, it's going to close the application. Again, to open it up, just tap and hold and it's going to come right back up. So we're just going to go back here and we're going to scroll down here. If we tap on icon animations, you can see there's a ton of different stuff. You can actually change how the icons lay on the springboard when you unlock your device. Uh, if we go into the control center, it's very simple how some of this works. You can see that there's a ton of uh, uh, sliders and knobs right here that you have to kind of mess with. But if we tap on the settings buttons, you can see that you can actually hide these little toggles right here. So we can hide airplane mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. So you can see if we go ahead and open this up that we have all of our toggles right there. Now if we tap and hold, let's say we're going to hide uh, airplane mode as well as Wi-Fi. And then we swipe back up. You can see that we only have three toggles right there. Now, if you mess with this, and this is a free tweak, so I highly recommend just you know checking this out. Uh, if you mess something up, you can always just tap on Restore Defaults right there at the bottom of that section. If you go back, you'll see that we have all of our toggles back right there. So that's a uh, fail safe anytime you screw up. Now, if you mess with a whole bunch of stuff, then you would just go back here to the Springboard section, and then right here you have Restore Defaults, and it's going to re restore all the defaults for every single uh, item right here every single setting I should say another one we can hop into is the app switcher here so you have some this is called simplicity this is basically changing how your app switcher looks so you can change to have no snapshots no status bars no labels no icons no people as well as three other options down here that allow you to do uh, multiple of these so let's just say we don't want to have snapshots which I don't really recommend but you can see what it does right here if we go ahead and open up the app switcher you'll see that we don't have snapshots on our app switcher right there. Now, I mean, you could use this if you have some issues with security or something. Uh, it's, you don't want somebody looking over your shoulder seeing what you've been getting into. I keep tapping on that rather than tapping and holding. And if we tap over here, you can see that we can turn off everything. Basically, if we just tap on that, tap done, and we open that up, you'll see that we don't have icons, we don't have snapshots, and if we had our contacts up there, then they're not going to show up either. But I have that disabled right now. So going back here, once you're done messing with everything, then you can go all the way down here to the bottom like I was talking about, and then you can tap on Restore Default. So we tap on Restore Default, and then everything is back to normal. So you can see if I tap Done, and we open up the App Switcher here, everything's back to normal. So I definitely recommend checking out Advanced Settings 8 as a free tweak that you can kind of mess with the settings, or the advanced settings, in iOS 8. Let me know what you guys think about this tweak in the comments below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that Like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time. Peace.